I'm here with Carol Ann Ford. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. A bit jet lagged, but otherwise fine. Well, all the way from England. Yeah, 11 hour flight. And I hate planes. Well, thank you for coming to Gallifrey. We really appreciate it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Everybody's so gorgeous here. You know, the fans here are wonderful. Some of the best. Well, I think so. I've seen a few and I think they are, yes. They're enthusiastic, but they're very polite, not pushy. So that's good. Good. Glad to hear it. Have you seen anyone dressed in anything you particularly like? Oh, there's some amazing ball gowns here. Yes, fantastic. And some things I have no idea what they are. I don't even know if they're related to Doctor Who. Probably not. But they're fascinating. <laughs> it's always a lot of fun. It's almost like playing cosplay bingo. Well, I think the great thing is there seems to be something for everyone, whatever your taste is. So, what did you like best about playing Susan? Definitely not all the screaming uh, and running away and definitely not the twisting of the ankle, but it was actually only twice. I mean, people seem, everybody comes up and says, oh, you're always twisting your ankle, but it was only twice. Obviously but it made a big impression on people. So, aside from the twisted ankles, which was only twice, what were the good things? What did you enjoy? I really enjoyed the uh, historical ones. Um, they seemed much more interesting to do than the, than the freaky ones because the freaks always got more in interest, I think, than, than we did. And, <laughs> and also the visiting artists always got something much more interesting to do than I ever did. I mean, I got very fed up because I felt that my character was just an introduction to other people coming in and doing more interesting things. So. Well, they really should have focused on you then. Of course they should. Who was the most important one in it? <laughs> you, of course. Of course, I think so. <laughs> so, if Stephen Moffat called you up tomorrow and said, Yes. We, yes. <laughs> <laughs> in a heartbeat. <clears throat> would you want to reprise your role or would you want someone different? I would rather be something different. I would rather be something probably unrecognizable, like, like a strange beastie. You'd want to be an alien. I wouldn't mind at all. It would solve the problem of writing something feasible for a 74-year-old woman um, to come back again as a 15-year-old child. No. <laughs> How do they do that? I don't know. So make me a monster. I would look forward to that. I'd love to see that. Moffat, if you're watching this. I'm here waiting. So, what advice would you have for a fan of new Doctor Who who's just starting to watch the classics? Watch them from the very first one, and then watch the very first one again and again and again, and then you'll be hooked, and then you just carry on until you come up to date. I'm assuming the first one is your favorite. Yes, it is. It is. I mean, I wanted her to be even more strange and weird than she was. That was taken away from me. I managed to steal one or two little bits and put them in there, but then they just disappeared and I became a perfectly ordinary girl next door, which is what they wanted. They wanted me to reflect um, the, th the feelings and thoughts and questions of the young girls watching it, which I understand, that's fine. But as an actress, that's not as interesting as all the other stuff. You'd rather have a really good character than the audience XP. Oh, absolutely. Well, we all would, wouldn't we? <laughs> That's true. Well, see if we can get you in as a monster then. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure.